Good evening, fellow football shirt aficionados. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing very well, of course, because I have a brand new shirt in front of me that I can finally open. It arrived two days ago, so it's nice that I can actually have a look and ensure that it is exactly what I ordered. So, without further ado, let's see what we have. So, here's all that. We'll use our card this time. Oh, we've got another Cantona. Get rid of him. And the shirt. Okay. Oh, that's in there. Ta-da. Oh, looks like this one's been opened by the uh, the boys at CFS. Maybe this was one the one they used for the model. Who knows? So, this is, as by the title of the video, I think I'm going to choose it. It is another Spanish shirt. For whatever reason, it just seems to be so easy to pick up Spanish teams. I have like pff, over 30 now. I can't even remember. 33, 34? And this is a particular team that I've seen like every season available. And it's either been too pricey, no sponsor, not about my size, impossible to import from Spain for whatever reason. So it was really nice and exciting to see classic football shirts, put on a shed load of different shirts for this team. So let's open it up and we'll see which team it is that I am talking about. So, let's go to the back. Well, that gives it away, doesn't it? If you can read. Yeah. So, the team is Granada CF, uh, a team that plays currently in La Liga, I believe. In fact, I think they finished like 7th, maybe Europa League position, which is, I, th I don't know, historically, but it's got to be one of their best finishes, right? Um, I know that when this shirt was released, it is the 2016-2017 shirt, they were going through pretty poor times. I think I remember... Tony Adams was the manager. Remember when Tony Adams became the manager for like, I don't know, a month, two months? Uh, and I think they had like three more that season. Of course, they uh, got relegated. I think they finished last. So it's kind of cool to see that they've managed to turn their fortune around and um, they seem to be going in the right direction. Uh, one thing I, I did read whilst looking at this team, uh, apparently that originally the team played in blue and white stripes. And then once the Spanish Civil War had finished, they travelled to Madrid to pick up some you know, materials to make some more shirts. Uh, and apparently they couldn't find anything that was blue, so they had to settle for red. And um, that's why now their primary colours are red and white. Whether or not that's true, I, it doesn't cite any sources. But I don't know, that's kind, of, um, that's kind of funny, I think. So, as for the shirt itself, this is the rear club name there. At the bottom, there's a sponsor. Uh, I don't know who they are. We'll find out when I look into it further. Uh, let's look at the front. So, of course, it's a drummer shirt. So, I think we all know what to expect now with these. Just good quality, nice detailing. Uh, so, we have the Energy King sponsor, who I think they don't do it anymore. I think it's somebody else. Um, of course, we have the sort of obligatory patch that's found on most Spanish shirts. You can tell it's been in storage for a while because I can't actually get it open. There we go. Yeah, so that's, that's probably the first time that's been touched in about three years. That's made out of like a weird, I don't know, like a felt sort of thing. It's not the best quality there. Um, sponsor itself, transfer it on. <coughs> Transferred on, transferred on, these have been transferred on. Uh, like I said, classic football shirts, they put up a load of Granada shirts. So you've got an unlimited amount of choice, really. You've got home shirts, third shirts, away shirts, goalkeeper shirts, many seasons. So if you like a particular colour, it's going to be there. I chose this one because I kind of like the red and green. It's quite a cool and unique design, I, I guess. But any of them, any of them would have looked really good, to be honest. There's a good combination of bright colours, traditional colours. 
Um, so I'm sure you'd be able to find something. And I suppose the main selling point is they're pretty cheap. Like this was nineteen pounds ninety nine. I always say anything less than twenty pound, and it's you know you can't go wrong with that because in even like three years that shirt's gonna be worth twenty five pounds, thirty pounds, thirty five pounds depending on on um, the scarcity and the condition that you keep it in. Uh, the tag, I think I saw it had a price tag on it. Yeah, so at some point it was worth, was that five or a six? I think it's a five, so 59, 90 euros. So, you know, <laughs> price has dropped down a bit since then, hasn't it? But that's cool, I've been wanting this shirt for a while. It's another Spanish team. Uh, there's so many Spanish teams I could pick up, but I, I don't want to do it every week because it gets boring for me. So I think my next shirt is going to be possibly Italian, because you just don't get that many of them. Um, but I'll see. I'll, I'll order it tomorrow. But as always, if anybody's got any questions about the shirt, or some ideas and some inspiration, uh, if you just want to say how you feel about it, or maybe you have one yourself, then uh, you know, just drop it below and we'll have a conversation. If you enjoyed the video and need to subscribe, do so. Uh, it's much appreciated. And I will see you probably early next week. I've got an idea for the video, so um, keep 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 uh, yeah keep your eyes peeled, I guess. Until next time, thank you for watching.